Do you want to learn how to simplify deployment and management of your VMware environment? In a series of demo videos, I'll show how Nutanix helps you do that. This is Bhavik Desai from the Nutanix tech marketing team. And in this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to set up a Nutanix AOS cluster that is running ESXi. Let's take a look. Before we start the process of creating a Nutanix cluster with ESXi, there are a couple of steps that needs to be done. First is to rack stack and cable the nodes. And the next is to create a foundation VM. Once the foundation VM is created, we log into it, which is what this first page looks like. On this first page, we provide uh, relevant information that we need for the cluster. So in my case, uh, I'm gonna provide uh, the net mask and the gateway of uh, my every node and CVM. And then since uh, on my nodes, I've already given it IPMI IPs, I'm also going to go ahead and give it the net mask and gateway for those IPMI. After that, let's move on to the next page. On the next page, uh, we give information about the nodes that we want to be configured uh, with ESXi and create our Nutanix cluster out of it. Uh, in my case, the node itself does cover, but if the nodes do not show up, uh, they, they can be added manually over here. And once the nodes are discovered, you can provide the IPs of the host and CVM that you need to be configured, as well as the IPMI IPs. On the next page, we give some additional configuration about uh, the cluster, like the cluster name, um, time zone, what redundancy factor you need for the cluster, cluster virtual IP address, and also things like the NTP DNS servers. And finally, how much uh, memory you want allocated to the CVM. On the next page, we select the version of AOS we want installed. I'm going to keep it uh, at 519. Now on the next page, we select the hypervisor, which in our case is ESXi, and I'm going to be installing ESXi version 7. Once we do that, we provide the credentials for the IPMI. Once that is done, uh, we can just go ahead and hit start which will then let the foundation VM go out to the nodes, uh, start configuring the nodes with uh, the AOS software, install the hypervisor, and then finally create a cluster with all the services running. So let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna hit proceed. We're just gonna ignore this message. And after running validations, uh, the foundation VM is gonna go ahead and start installing the software and configuring the cluster as I mentioned. Once foundation has gone through and installed the nodes with the AOS version uh, hypervisor and create the cluster, we can click here and that will take you to the Prism console where you can log into the cluster. For the first time, we need to provide uh, with uh, some details around setup, which I'll do. And then this puts you into a working cluster, uh, which is running ESXi. Uh, it has four nodes uh, in one block. This is the model number, and this gives you a snapshot of what the cluster looks like. Now this is Prism Element, which manages a single cluster, but to do multi-cluster management, we have something called Prism Central, which we will look into in uh, further demos. And the final step is going ahead and adding these nodes to vCenter. So I have a vCenter instance over here where I've already created a cluster. So let's go ahead and add the host in to over here. And then go ahead and add them in into the vCenter cluster. And with that, we can manage the cluster using vCenter or Prism Element or as you'll see in later demos through Prism Central.